Hello. Hi. Hello, good night. Good evening. How are you doing? All good? I'm doing well. What about you? What did you do today? Nice. <laughs> Excellent. What did you do today? So I was working. Um, yeah, I was uh, in a home office. Yeah, but creating different methodologies and um, sending emails. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's methodologies my work. for what? Are you? What is your profession? Yeah, in my, in my, yeah, but I'm psychologist and with, with a master degree in human rights and this education. But in my work, I am the advisor of child protection. Um, I create methodologies for, what, example, for example, for campaign to kill the advisor for ch for child protection. Ah, child. Okay. Where did you study psychology? Child protection. <laughs> yeah, I was studying. Um, I studied psychology in University of El Salvador. Great. That's fantastic. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I love psychology. And the master's degree at US too. Yeah, US as well. That's great. Good, good. Very interesting. Hi, Jesenia and Ismenia. Hi. How are you doing this evening? Hi. How was the weekend? Hi. Tired. Tiring? Yes. Why was it tiring? Did you have to work? No, but I have two child. <laughs> you have two children. Two children. Yeah. That's like having another job. Right? Yeah. It's actually a full And don't job. pay. And don't pay me. <laughs> Without payment. I know. I know. Okay. Well. Let's begin. Um, I'm glad to see you again. I don't know where everyone else is. Everyone's late. Let me see. Let me send a message, guys. Hold on. Pre events one. I'm waiting for you guys. For your for you guys. There it is. All right. Here we are. Yeah. Some more people connected right now. Just joined. Can you read the objective, please? Is many? All right, coming, coming, coming. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, <laughs> in this class, you will learn about different cultures around the world. Let's say cultures. Cultures around the world. Okay, what a great topic to finish the module, huh? Talking about cultures <clears throat> and cross-cultural experiences. Um, look. <clears throat> There's not much to discuss, but I would like you to take notes as always, right, on the, the topics, because I will ask you what the video was about, for instance, okay? <clears throat> I would like you to write down the main ideas of the video, okay? Ready? Let's watch. Write down main ideas, guys. Hi, I'm Chris Brooks. Welcome to Travel World. Have you ever traveled to a country with a completely different culture? If you have, you probably know what culture shock is. It's a feeling of confusion you get from suddenly being in a new environment. The traditions and customs may seem strange. Expectations are different. You don't know exactly what you're supposed to do. You may even be a little bit afraid of making a mistake. In time, you get used to everything. But when you get home, you often have some interesting and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences. Today, we're going to Latin America to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. 
Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm Rio de Janeiro. Hold on, guys. I think we have to answer questions about the video. So if that's the case, uh, we need to see them. No, seriously? Okay. So anyway, uh, continue writing about as the video goes on. I would like you to write right main ideas like the first topic they're talking about is cross culture and then they say cultural chalk so what is that right and what the differences are i will ask you questions at the end let's watch again sorry and perhaps humorous stories to tell about your cross-cultural experiences today we're going to latin america to meet some people who've traveled abroad and hear about their experiences crossing cultures. First, let's go to Brazil. Ah, yes, Rio de Janeiro. Enjoying a spectacular view of Sugarloaf Mountain is our lucky reporter, Fatima Nolan. Hi, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro. Like everywhere else in the world, people here like to travel abroad and have some interesting stories to tell. Let's talk with some of them. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Camilla and I was born in Stockholm, Sweden, but I moved to Rio when I was four and I've lived here ever since. Two years ago I went to Sweden and I lived there for a year. What did you notice that was different? Well, the first thing that I noticed when I got to Sweden was how people greet each other. It was completely different because here in Brazil we kiss on the cheek and they shake hands. So I went to kiss like, and they, oh my goodness, what's going on? And they felt like you're invading my space or something like that. It was strange. <laughs> This is Fatima Nolan from Rio de Janeiro. Back to you, Chris. Thanks, Fatima. Now, let's cross the South American continent to Lima, Peru, where our reporter Denise Oregui is standing by. Denise? Thanks, Chris. We're here at the beautiful Plaza de Armas. This is a favorite spot for tourists and the people of Lima. Let's talk to some people here about their cross-cultural experiences. Hey, what's your name and where are you from? My name's Andrew and I'm from the United States. Have you noticed any difference in the way people do things here in Peru? Yeah, one thing that I've really noticed is the public transportation system is really different. Because here, the bus system is private. And so there's all these people trying to get you on their bus because the way they make money is by getting as many people as possible to get on their bus. So the whole time they're yelling, get on my bus, get on my bus. And sometimes it's not the bus that you want to be getting on. This is Denise Arregui here in Lima, Peru. Back to you, Chris. Thank you, Denise. Now reporter Hillary Garcia is standing by in Mexico, our final destination for today. What do you have for us, Hillary? Thanks, Chris. I'm here in beautiful Tepoztlan, Mexico, a town that both Mexican and foreign tourists like to visit. Let's talk with a few of them about their cross-cultural experiences. <laughs> What's your name and where are you from? My name is Delfino Valdez and I was born in Reynosa, Mexico and now I live in the United States. Tell us about your cross-cultural experience. I am married to an American woman and she was making me lunch one day and she brought me a soup and a sandwich. Once I was done with it, I said, okay, honey, where's the rest of it? And she said, that was it. Well, it is customary in my culture to have a huge meal in the middle of the day with the beans, the rice, the meat. So needless to say, I was very surprised. This is Hillary Garcia in Tepoztlan, Mexico. Back to you, Chris. Until next time, this is Chris Brooks for Travel World, bidding you bon voyage. Bon voyage. Okay, so um, let me see. First of all, what is the meaning of cultural shock? Do you remember? 
<clears throat> is maybe the the fear you have to to the unknown things from a place. Uh -huh. Yes, and it, these certain differences you encounter when you go to a new place. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what else. Then there is a difference here they described in in Brazil about greeting people. What was the difference? Could you catch it? The, she the, way, they, the mm -hmm. way they salute with the, the kisses and the cheeks. And the not, not salute, but the way they greet. The, they <laughs> greet. Yeah, they greet. The way they greet. What was the and difference? The, the girl says the, the other patient, the person invade the Jewish space personnel. Right. Because they kiss in the cheek, right? Okay. Let's see. What is the difference in... Then they go to Peru and they mention something about transportation. What is the difference? The public transportation... Suba, 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 suba. Or... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like here in and Salvador. <laughs> Is like here. Yeah. <laughs> what was shocking about it? What did the guy say? The, the, the public transportation can, is private. Private. And you can roll private. the the number. Uh, a, a grown autobus. Get you can take the bus. the the grown the grown bus. <laughs> No, it's like he's saying they're trying to convince you to get it to get on the bus, but it's not even the route you need. <laughs> so it's helpless. Okay, what about the difference in Mexico about food? The guy, the difference the guy encountered. I think it was the the meal in the in the hour of the day. Mm -hmm. It's different. Because uh, you don't you don't, you don't you don't want to eat this in in breakfast. I I, I don't know uh, something like that. Yeah, the boys had the, like the rice and meat. Wants a big meal. Uh huh. He was like middle to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Is this it? That's it." <laughs> <laughs> Where was he from? From Peru. He was he was from Mexico. He lived in the United States. And she married a, a United States woman. An American woman. Yeah, an American woman. Okay. Yeah, the size of the meal was the difference for him. Okay, mm -hmm. so now I'm sending you some questions. I don't know if you already saw the first ones, but we're going to be talking about traveling for a second. Okay, we have a lot of questions, so I'm going to make small groups. I don't know. I don't think we're going to finish all the questions, but if we have time later, we're going to go back to them with a different group, okay? So it's our opportunity to talk about traveling and maybe using some of the vocabulary. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. So start with the first image, the one that says travel at the top. All right, I'm going to make groups right now. You see? Here, accept the invitation, please. Let's get speaking. We have two. Good or not. To travel. Okay. Uh, travel. Mm -hmm. Ah, it's some period of question, right? Mm -hmm. Where yeah. do you like to go on vacation? Mm -hmm. I like to go mm -hmm. to the beach. For oh, vacation, yeah. Uh, is many? Uh, maybe a mountain mountain because i love the the cold weather so and and i love the forest too maybe yeah. i i i will i will go 
is the first one. Where okay. do you like to go on vacation? Okay, maybe. Uh, uh, maybe uh, I would like to go to, to, to Lima, Peru. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it's a very nice place uh, with different cultural, cultural options. Uh, and the food is the best food in, uh, around the world. Yeah, but the gastronomy is perfect. And, and I would like to go there in, in to Lima, Peru. And okay. what about you? I would like to travel to the United States. Okay. Five years ago, I traveled with my family and we enjoyed because we knew different. We stayed in home for a long time. <laughs> yeah. But I really, I, I go to, I go to the, to my work, but, uh, but I need to uh, take a, take a vacation in other place. A different rest, right? Yeah. It's not only in, in mm -hmm. home. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. A few, uh, very, 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 uh, just a little people, no, just a few people have visa to travel to the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, get about the second question. Okay. Okay. Uh, is uh, tell me something interesting that that a relative had done before he or she got married. Um, not is the not. No, is the is the first ones. Oh really? Oh, I, I know. And you you take a picture of that? Took a picture. Uh, no, I didn't. Ah. <laughs> it's <laughs> just uh, an experience no. I have in my mind. Imagine. Only. I don't know why I didn't take <laughs> Only lives in your mind. Yeah. Yes. Just, uh, <laughs> I, I don't know what happened with my phone. Uh, I have. No. Why? Yes. Could you do me a favor? Um, I have a group that is three members and then two that are in pairs. So can I send you to one group, Marvin, and you to another yeah. one, Carla? Would you mind? I'm so okay, sad. Okay. <laughs> you want to be with Marvin? <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah hey, everybody's in, hey, in groups of three. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So I sent one, <laughs> and now you, Marvin. There you go. Okay. Uh, three questions. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what did I miss? Your about your best travel story. Okay. Mm. It's many. I don't know why <laughs> you only ask me. I don't have anyone yet. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any. Me too. I don't have any. You, Alexander? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Nothing. I <laughs> am special. Okay. And what about you, Carla? Hi. Tell your partner about your best travel story. 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 Yes, my best travel history. Mm, story. Maybe going. Story. Story, yes. Maybe it's going to something very long. <laughs> yes, you're right. Ten years. <laughs> My best story. Uh, maybe going to Costa Rica. Going in an airplane. <laughs> Hi, Marvin. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Veronica. Um, to the group. Uh, yes, uh, yes, we ah, discuss about the 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 place that I visit, <laughs> and I visit ah, really? only my family. 
Oh, and wow. it's a casualty. Yes, and I have family in my in my my bill. Oh, yeah. uh, how do you say? Well, no, I don't know. <laughs> in my uh, in my town. In my town. In my town. Yeah. In my town. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, El Salvador is too small, guys. It's too small. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's always something. Yeah. It's really small. And, and do yes. they know and well one another, maybe? What town? Yes. Hi, Veronica. Thank you Hi. for turning the camera on. <laughs> yeah, poor Sorry. Marvin. He can't see anybody. <laughs> Where do you have family, Veronica? In Candelaria and in, in Guatemala too. <gasps> Me too, in Guatemala. <laughs> yeah, because my family ah. live in a board of Guatemala. In the border. Ah, in the border, oh. yeah. Oh. My, my family really? lives in the, in the, the, in the, the middle, of the, in the capital, capital, ah, in Guatemala. In the that was one of my best experience. Um, Did you travel only with your uncles or or someone else? I travel with my brother, with my uncle. Mm. Um, with anyone else. And what about the food did you eat in Costa Rica? And in, in... Mm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. You, you. Uh, <laughs> I took the money. If I had it, I took it. Money and some food the maybe the cell the charger the cell <laughs> <laughs> yeah and i i, I like Sorry, my the cell phone hmm? yeah cell my phone. Phone. Ah, cell phone. yeah okay yeah and oh, okay cell phone money and a charger <laughs> yeah and i always uh, like to to have with me uh a tool no. Yeah, I like tools because of the convenience. Yeah. Oh. I, I... These questions. What yes. What are there? some things? What are you things? always take with you, you on a trip? With you on a trip. Oh, okay. My headphones. <laughs> <laughs> really? I don't need a lot of things. Just my clothes, my headphones, and, uh, of course, the cell phone, too. The mm. charger, <laughs> yeah, okay. And what about you, Carlos? What are some things you always stay with you on a trip? Mm, yeah, and I was thinking about it, and and I, usually when I uh, when I travel, um, I have a um, a bag, uh, a bag, a handbag uh, with my cell phone, the charger, and if I can a book, then maybe to read or here then when the Spaniels control the uh, Central America. Central America. Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Great. <laughs> a, could you, could, I, don't, I didn't know that. Uh -huh, I ah. didn't know that. It's new for me. <laughs> yes, yes. it is the capital because uh, they have the monasterios and I don't know how it's monasterios. How to say, how to say monasterios? There's probably, let me see. <clears throat> sure. Oh, no. Maybe, but, but church is, is not different. Mm. I think. It's called, yeah, monasteries. 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 Mm. Yeah. And, and they have a, I, I know the church, um, the, the 
paredes. The mold, no, the, the, the walls. 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 The, the walls, walls is mm, the, the walls. Uh -huh, the walls yeah, are for my kids, uh, my passport, my credit card, my cell phone, and of course, uh, uh, clothes. Yeah. Um, do you prefer package tours or making your own treat, Carla? In my case, I only visit family. <laughs> and they they make our our trip package, package, package I trip. never I'm not a good organizer I just go with them <laughs> <laughs> sometimes it is I think it's better than you take a package tour because if you take yeah. a package tour a package tour uh, you have an schedule and you had activities that that you had to do during the day it's yeah. different if you take a treat and you visit your family in another country because you had all the time uh, available for you and your family available and your relatives available for your family, for your rel relatives. Uh -huh. yeah. I uh, think what you have you? is an itinerary, right? Itinerary, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and what about you, Carlos? Do you prefer package tours or making your own treat? Yeah, in my case, um, I usually prefer my own. Uh, Okay, did you hear anything interesting from your classmates? Yes. What, for instance? Tell us, Jill. <laughs> uh, I think we have something in common mm -hmm. that, that we, we like to travel alone because we oh, don't really? like to wait for people. <laughs> <laughs> but alone, you mean by yourself alone. with nobody yeah. else? Yeah, travel alone, traveling alone. Yeah. Oh, no, I have never done that. I couldn't. Okay, so who do you have that in common with, Gio? Hmm? Who do you have that in common with? Bad. No, who do you have that in common with? Ah, with Alex and Ismenia. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Okay, and also I think Veronica in... And who else? <gasps> Yo? And yes, yes, yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. No, somebody said they had family in, in by the border in Guatemala. Ah, Yesenia and Veronica, yeah. the two of you. So you two found something in common. Great. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> okay, very interesting. It was a great practice then. So we're gonna learn, this is something we have already studied, okay? It's not too complicated, it kind of does, it looks like it, but it's not, okay? So what you have to focus on, or when it says relative clauses, what we're talking about is WH words that are being used to connect ideas and not to ask questions, but it's easy, right? It's the same thing in Spanish. Uh, so what you have to pay attention to is that, that, who, okay? Who, that, that, this is a relative clause. And if you notice the only difference between these and this is that the sentence is inverted. That's the only difference. Okay, so now that you watch the video, you will see that it's really simple. So I'm gonna play both videos for you and then we're gonna practice uh, the structures through speaking only. So I need you to pay attention here, write down the structure, examples, everything you can, because we're not going to practice writing, just speaking, okay? Ready? Ready. Let's watch. Ready. Hi, everyone. At the end of this class, you'll be able to express your feelings towards traveling to other countries. You'll learn how to use noun phrases to do this. So let's get started by me asking you a few questions, which you should be able to answer with no problems at all by the end of this class. When traveling to another country, would you be nervous about being far away from your family? Would you feel insecure about traveling alone? 
would you be enthusiastic about making new friends? By the end of this class, you'll be able to use noun phrases which contain relative clauses in order to express your ideas when it comes to traveling. So let me present some structure at this particular moment. What we're going to try to do is we're going to try to make sense of these noun phrases which contain relative clauses. Uh, first, we'll start talking a little bit about how we use this as a subject. Uh, then we'll move into the object, probably the object. I'll separate this into a different lecture. So uh, in order to form this kind of um, expressions, first we're going to have a subject. So in this case, this subject becomes one thing. Uh, then this is followed by a relative clause, I really miss. And then we're going to have the uh, verb to be. Uh, in this case, as you can see, is the verb to be is, and then that's followed by um, an object or a phrase, if you will. So let's write that specific sentence down, and then we're going to try to make sense of it, as I mentioned. So let me do that at this point. Okay. All right. So as I mentioned, uh, one thing, sorry, one thing becomes the subject of the sentence. I've I've colored that in green, so we can. I see the difference between what's a verb and what's a what's a uh, what's a subject, what's a relative clause, what's a verb, and what's the object of this particular idea. Then this is followed by the relative clause. I I colored this in blue so you can see what what I'm referring to as a relative clause, and then the verb to be. Now the verb to be needs to match with the subject, if you will. So if the subject uh, were to be plural, then this should change to are. Um, and then it's followed by the object of the sentence. So in this case, my mom's cooking is the object of the sentence. What we're going to do right now is we're going to include a lot of uh, relative clauses uh, so that you can see that uh, this topic could, it can become a little bit confusing. But if we understand uh, this structure, it, it shouldn't be difficult to complete. So let me include um, lots of relative clauses. All right. And... What we're going to do is we're going to try to make sense of it, but we're going to try to uh, make different sentences with them. All right. So um, I mentioned one thing. Um, you could you could express this idea by saying something. Right. Uh, you could also say two people or you can say two things or you can say uh, two things that I miss would be. And then you mentioned what those things are. Um, but um, let's try to make sense of it here. Um, so one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. So I've included uh, a few relative clauses. And let me get you to answer this by me asking you the question. So what would you be nervous about when traveling to another country? What would you be anxious about? What would you be comfortable with? What would you be curious about? What would you be enthusiastic about? What would you be fascinated by? Um, let's say that we choose the country, uh, maybe France, all right? So France seems like a very touristic place. And I think that a lot of people would like to travel to this particular country. So let's do that second one. One thing I'd be nervous about is, all right, that's going to follow the bird to be. And maybe for me is getting lost, all right? Uh, let me try to keep the format a little bit because I want you to notice that we have one thing is the noun, uh, the relative clauses I'll be nervous about. Then this is followed by the verb to be. And then this will be followed by the object of the sentence. Okay, so for me, one thing I really be nervous about, or one thing I'll be nervous about is getting lost. One thing I'll be anxious about is getting to know this new city. One thing I'll be comfortable with is the weather. One thing I'd be curious about is learning about the country's culture. One thing I'd be enthusiastic about is learning the new language. One thing I'd be fascinated by is getting to know the history behind the architecture in that particular city. And so you get the idea. Um, so if we follow this pattern, subject plus relative clause plus verb to be plus the object, then we shouldn't uh, have any difficulties expressing these ideas. 
Uh, just one last thing that I would like to mention that if I change the subject to plural, okay, I will need to change the verb to be and I will also need to change the object because both things need to be plural. They need to match with whatever the subject is. So for example, two things I really miss are my mom's cooking and my room at home. Okay, that's just to give you an example. And if, if the subject changes to something plural, then you will need to do the same for uh, the rest. So what I would like for you to do now is to practice this concept but now answer this in your own way. So what would you be nervous about? What would you be anxious about? What would you be comfortable with? And try to give as many responses as you possibly can. Mm, try to write these ideas advice. down as this will help you learn this concept. Okay, do you have questions about the structure? Or are you ready to practice? What do you think? Ready? I can't hear anybody, guys. I don't know. Everybody's on mute, by the way. <laughs> yes, we are ready. <laughs> ready. <laughs> Great. So look. OK, this is the scenario. Imagine if you move to another country. Imagine this is the scenario, OK? you. Where do you want to live, guys? If you didn't live in El Salvador, where would you like to live? What country? Everybody's watching one thing. Germany. Amsterdam. Bruxelles. Germany, Amsterdam. Gio, where would you like to live? Norway. Derby. Wow. The answers are so varied. Marvin, Carla, Ismenia, Veronica. Gosia, like how do you pronounce? Copland. Mm. Copland? England. Yeah. Argentina. Finland. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to live here. <laughs> ah, okay. This is the scenario. Okay. Imagine you, if you move to another country and the questions are going to be all the same, the same base. Okay. What is something you'd, meaning you would, and we're going to complete the question by saying miss. Okay. So the question is, if you move to another country, what's something you would miss? How do you answer this question? I need you to practice. I need you to answer with the long miss the It's not natural. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. yes. Believe me, you really missed that. <laughs> I suffer every Sunday. Really miss the pupusa. Aha, but how do you answer in the long form? It's not the natural way, but I need you to practice I the relative clause. So you're going to say one thing. One thing. I really miss. I really I really miss. And I really miss this one thing I really miss. Pupusas. Or instead of saying one food. thing, or let's say something. something. I really miss. Uh -huh. Something I really miss are pupusas. Empanadas, okay. too. Empanadas. Nobody says my family, right? No, pupusas. <laughs> 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 Priorities in life. Come on. <laughs> okay, so miss is one of the questions. The other one is need. If you if you move to another country, what's something you would need? Money. Money. I know <laughs> that's the answer. Okay, what's something you would be happy about? And you're like, oh, not seeing gang members. I'm really happy about not seeing gang members, guys. Yeah. Be happy about. Okay, so you answer it the way you feel. Uh, be afraid of. What's something you would be afraid of? I want to hear these answers. So I don't know. Um, when I go to your group, I will ask you this question because I'm I'm very curious. In so the say it for me, please. The what? <clears throat> the weather. Be afraid of the weather, really? Uh, what is something you would uh, change? What is something you about about, about, you, about you, your uh, life? Uh, I don't know. You would improve. Uh, what is something you would be fascinated? You change your okay. So these are the questions. 
I'm going to take a picture. And please answer with the long form by saying something I would really, la, 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 is this and that. Is that clear? Yes. <laughs> My instructions, right? Something, this and that, la, la, la. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I ask, is it clear? Yes. <laughs> we had, oh, my God. You said we had to say la, la, la. <laughs> How terrible. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so casual. All right. Let's practice. I think it's clear because, by, because of how you answer the questions. I know it's clear. So that's why I trust you. It's about crime. Hold on. Okay. We're going to go with different people. Give me one second. So we can tell the change mm, experiences. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let Carlos, where is Carlos? Something that I fascinated by. Okay, accept the invitation, please. Let's practice. He's today. Hello. Hello. Participants, Laura. Hello, Laura. Carlos, we cannot see you. And me. Laura, yeah. I don't remember your face, Laura. <laughs> Let me see you. Okay. I remember you. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. And okay. Carlos, I know, but you have turned off the camera. All right. Uh, I'm curious. So, what is something you would be afraid of if you move to another country, guys? Um, yes. Mm, for, for example, something that I may, uh, that I'd be afraid of is about the crime of the other country. <laughs> yeah, maybe it could be it could be a, a safer country than El Salvador. But uh, for our experiences, um, we translate our anxiety to the, to the insecurity to the other country, maybe. We, we don't translate it, but we, yeah, we transfer, basically, Trans our anxiety. Okay. That is right. You're right, Carlos. That has happened to me. Where is Marvin? Okay, he disappeared. Very good. Good, good, good. All right, continue, guys. I will check on the other groups. I can say one thing I really miss. ¿En cuál estás? In the, current, the first one. Miss. I understand. Mm -hmm. The question is you move to another country. Mm -hmm. Okay. What is sometimes you, you would miss? Something. Miss. And you said your parents. Something to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Veronica, what's something you would you miss? really miss? Sorry, go ahead, I, Alexander. I really miss uh, my parents. Mm -hmm. I, I need, um, I don't know, my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, take take the dog with you. You can. <laughs> yeah. Hey, teacher, the, the instruction is I really miss or... No, you have to really say something I would really... Or something I would really miss or I Complete it with the... You complete my, it with the compliment. Hold my on. family, my... So you're going to say something I'd miss is my family something i would need is my is money something i would be happy about is and then you have to use a journey is leaving my town i don't know being in a different place so that and then why um, or see if you have that in common with someone else okay mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. how is the price of the things it appears to to have a lot, to be expensive. Yeah, <laughs> but in something? other country, yeah, yeah, but yeah. In, in other country, uh, maybe price the the things are uh, low. For are example, lower than here. 
Yeah, for example, in the clothes in United States, uh, you can you can buy uh, many many clothes. I think the the clothes are the price is low. Son son. Okay. Algunas marcas son son brands. Brand. Son brands. Some brands. For example, the Old Navy. Uh, mm -hmm. There are cheap and um, they're cheap, cheap, mm -hmm. and old navy. If, if you and... say cheap, that's meh. That those are cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so they, these are cheap. With that cheap. Uh huh. C H. Okay. Cheap. Yeah. Cheap. Brands and... are really cheap in the United States. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good clothes. That's right. Yeah. But my but, curiosity is, sorry guys, because I won't be here for long. So I'm curious, what would you be afraid of if you moved from El Salvador to another country? Is there something you'd be afraid of? To be deported <laughs> <laughs> for making a, a, a legal mistake. <laughs> no, come on. <laughs> I, I will be afraid of driving. Okay. You see, if you turn to, to another, to I don't know if you... Side. Uh -huh. um, I prefer not to drive and not in, to not to be <laughs> deported. <laughs> what about you, Beatrice? Um, I something something that I that I uh, that I make me afraid is driving too because in the the other another country. Uh, the highway, I think. Carretera. Highway. Uh, highway are different, are very different than here. Here, it, it may, be, may be lost too. You are, you'll be afraid of getting lost. Yes. You know, um, when I came here, I didn't have a job. So I was afraid of not finding a job. Can you believe that? So it's like like flipping a coin and being like, oh, am I going to get a job yeah. or not? So <laughs> what about, yeah. um, let me see, Ricardo. I think it's not there. Okay, let's move on to the next question then. In my case, I think the next or, or when you what, what is the number when we were talking about something that um, something that you're happy about. Oh, just be happy yeah. about in my case. I really like or enjoy it. To to meet uh, uh, the people that are in this country, right? And try, uh, uh, yes, and try his food, right? And I think is a, a good experience or or manner to to know in this culture. Maybe yeah. there we have a good. Uh, sazon huh, of flavors, right? Different. Seasoning. Flavor. Okay. For flavor. Yes. Yes, I think. I don't know. Other ones? Is many or. Welcome back. All right, how was the practice? Easy? Yeah. So tell me, the one thing you would really miss besides pupusas, anything else? Um, no? Sort of family. <laughs> family, <laughs> yes, that mm. should be the number one. All right, great. So now we're gonna see the inverted form. It's the same, okay, just inverted, that's it. And once we watch this video, if we have time, I don't think we will have time, but anyway, um, here it is. The title is incorrect, guys. 
Now we're going to see noun phrases containing relative clauses as objects. No, I think, I think it's okay. Anyway, it's the inverted form. That's it. So please take notes. And after this, we're going to do the, exer uh, the exercise or tomorrow, depending on the time. Okay, let's watch. Tomorrow, for sure. So let's just watch. At the end of this class, you'll be able to express your feelings towards traveling to other countries. You learn how to use noun phrases to do this. In our previous class, we learned how to express these ideas. And what we focused on learning was how to express the, uh, these ideas and using the noun phrases as the subject of our sentence. What we're going to do today is we're going to focus on the right side of this chart and we're going to learn how to use the noun phrases as the object of our sentence. So if you recall our previous lesson, we learned one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. And we learned this sort of formula here, subject plus relative clause plus the verb to be and then the object on that. That's the activity. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to borrow this object and we're going to turn that into the subject of our sentence. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep one of those ideas there so you can see exactly what happens whenever we make that particular change. What we want to do is we want to change this statement. One thing I really miss is my mom's cooking into my mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. By the way, it's important to mention, and I think I did not mention this in our previous lesson, that what you see in parentheses is optional. That means that you can either use it or you know, exclude it from your sentence. So one thing that I really miss is my mom's cooking. That's correct. But also if you just say one thing I really miss is my mom's cooking. Either one of those two sentences is correct. Let me write this structure down so you can see what's going to happen whenever we make this change. As I mentioned previously, what we want to do is we want to change this noun phrase that is being used as the subject. That means that the noun phrase, one thing I really miss, is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and basically what we want to do is we want to change that into being the object of our sentence, as you can see here in our next example. So um, the structure is the following. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, we're going to change my mom's cooking into that being the subject of our sentence. All right, so let me go ahead and write that down. I'm going to say my, my mom's cooking. That becomes the subject of our sentence now, all right? Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm just going to make sure that um, uh, this is quite clear. So I'm going to uh, put in those spaces there. So I'm also going to go ahead and change that color to make sure that we um, see what's happening. Right. So that's in green. The subject is in green. So I'm, I'm changing my mom's cooking, which was the object of our previous sentence to that being the subject of our sentence now. Now, notice that the verb to be also changes in location and the verb to be follows the subject. So my mom's cooking. All right. And that's the verb to be is let me change the color there as well. OK, there we go. Uh, then this follows the noun phrase. All right. So what do I mean by the noun phrase? Uh, well, uh, uh, previously it was the subject of her sentence and also that would follow the relative clause. So literally, this is what I'm going to put here. I separated it so that you could see actually what happened there. All right. Uh, but the, the noun, uh, and I, I think I colored that differently. So let me make sure everything matches here. All right. Um, and that's basically what happened. Just a couple of things changed. Number one, we had to change the object of our previous sentence to that being the subject of our new sentence. So my mom's cooking. Uh, and then that followed the verb to be. So the verb to be follows the subject. My mom's cooking is one thing I really miss. If we look at our previous examples, the ones that we did in our previous lesson, 
Okay, we have to finish now, but it's basically the same. If tomorrow you have questions, I'm gonna, okay, and we're also gonna do the exercise to practice, right? Do you okay. have any questions? No, teacher. No? All good? We clear, yeah. And are you here in the platform? Are you on section five? Yes, yeah. everyone? Yeah, because we yet. have to finish on Friday, on Thursday, sorry. We have to finish. Thursday. Not really, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Okay, this week is gonna teacher. This this week is gonna end in the model. Yes, the, the module. Okay. It's ending the model on, on Thursday. Yeah. So we have three and more the, classes. Please meet class. Task, in the mm -hmm. exercise in the platform, have to finish on turn on Thursday. Yes. Until on Thursday. Yes, that's right. Okay. Even Thank the you. the final exam has to be completed by Thursday. Uh. Really? Really? Why, teacher? <laughs> or I think <laughs> it's what about not on Friday, maybe. I, I Friday. Think Friday. I think Friday. Teacher, no. don't appreciate it. Sunday. <laughs> oh my <Wait>. God. <laughs> no, seriously, I think it has to be on Thursday. Let me ask. But yes, if it's not Thursday, then Friday. The thing is, do it with me, all right? We are in section five. We're going to finish definitely by by thursday and on thursday if you have questions about the final exam i will help you on, on thursday so yes we basically should finish by then i will ask okay and i will ask marvin to tell you the date but i'm pretty sure it's thursday or friday that you have to finish not the weekend anymore okay yeah sorry okay. well okay please be in class. class we have three more classes that's it okay thank you guys it was a pleasure seeing you as always I hope you have a beautiful Bye. night. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank care. you, teacher. Thank you My very pleasure. much. Bye, class.